Arab world is an amazing place to be. There are lots of things to see, lots of history and culture. Marhaba, I am Hanan Sharif. I am a student of Arabic language in Oregon. So to start a translation for what I just said. Um, hi, my name is Hanan Sharif. I'm uh, the Arabic language program coordinator at the University of Oregon. Um, I'm originally from Egypt. Uh, I have been teaching Arabic here at the U of O for six years, but I also taught in other universities in the US. In Egypt, I taught English for several years as a second language, and then when I came to work on my PhD research, I got the opportunity to teach Arabic as a second language, and I loved it since then. So I, I kind of used the experience I had in teaching a second language and uh, tailored it to fit the Arabic requirements. But, uh, um, since Arabic is my mother tongue, I, I uh, relate much more to it than teaching English. Um, I mean, students are different um, and the environment and everything, but uh, I enjoy teaching Arabic more. The thing is, I, I was a student once, so <laughs> I, I totally understand uh, the needs and uh, the interests of the students and, and um, I, I would say that the thing that um, makes my class um, interesting, maybe if I can say, is that I, I try to spare the students the boredom, so we always do something interactive together, we, um, we do also uh, extracurricular activities, so we go on field trips, we uh, cook together sometimes, we uh, learn new dances from the Arab world. Culture is, is an integral part of studying language. You cannot be able to understand why we say those things the way we say them uh, unless you understand the cultural background of, of those phrases and words and stuff. So. Um, and also learning about the culture is important because at a certain point of your learning experience you have to be traveling abroad to one of those countries, the 22 countries speaking Arabic. So knowing the culture will help you understand people there more and um, communicate with them properly and um, appreciate what they contributed to the world at large. Well, Arabic is uh, a critical language. It's one of the critical languages and, and learning it um, really gives you the edge in the marketplace for jobs. So um, if you can speak Arabic and Arabic is in demand and the supply for foreigners speaking Arabic is low. So it, it will make you more competitive in the field of work. So there's nothing that is impossible to achieve. Um, you just need to give it the time and the effort it needs and eventually you'll be able to master it.